This is a tutorial on the use of the library uh, online. You start at the Montclair State University main web page and click on Library. The main web page of the library takes you to four major places and I'm going to review all of them briefly, some of them in a bit more depth. The Books and Media uh, page is really for use primarily at the library physically and you can uh, put in a search for the name of a book by the title and see if the library owns it or all books by a certain author or all books on a certain subject or where there's a word or phrase involved put any of those searches in and you can work with that as a keyword or just browse which will give you a larger number of things to look at to see if the library owns those things but that is all primarily for use at the library and where it says other libraries for books it means that you can check other libraries but often what happens is Montclair State will order the book for you and then you have to come to the library this uh, tutorial however will be not primarily about the use of the, the this library catalog but about the use of the databases so at this point we're going to return to um, the main library page and look at articles and databases where we'll spend the bulk of our time. When you click on articles and databases you have to make a decision about uh, what subject matter you want to look uh, for articles in or you want to use a general database. We're going to start with a general database and this is probably the best one to start with this EBSCO Academic Premier. So you click on that, you have to give your regular username that um, you use for your uh, in Montclair State and the password you use for your uh, email and then you enter. At this point you're on the search page at an academic Search Premier, which is that EBSCO Premier database. Now, you can look at multiple databases. What a database is, it's it, it's reviewing all a whole bunch of journals to see uh, what articles are in those journals. And you want to be looking for primarily academic scholarly journals when you do graduate level papers. So you're looking for journal for databases that cover academic journals. So you want to add to the academic search premiere and by that to do that you press choose databases. And you will get a bunch of other databases besides academic search premiere. I would recommend for a lot of work in uh, child advocacy that you use psych info which uh, uh, looks at uh, journals and psychological uh, psychological journals. You might want to look at Health Source Nursing Academic Edition, not the Consumer Edition, but the Academic Edition, which will have medical uh, information. You might want to look at the Teacher Reference Center. Those are probably the main ones that are going to show up on this uh, when you are looking at Academic Search Premier. So you check off the ones you want to look at, then you uh, hit OK and you're back to this page again. Now, before you start your search, you want to indicate that you want only scholarly peer-reviewed journals. You don't want other kinds of journals. And you want probably recent ones, unless you can't find recent ones, in which case you have to expand your search. But I'm going to say the last 10 years. So I'm going to say January of 1999 to, and I'm making this in the month of April, April 2009. Now, this question about full text means that the database will, when you do your search, the only articles that will come up will be articles that you can access immediately the whole text of the article. This is a good place to start, although if it ends up that the search that you're doing produces very few matches, you may have to go back and take off the full text. Once you've hit full text scholarly peer reviewed journals and the date, you then want to go down to, uh, a f for each of the databases you hit, there is, they ask you for specific limiters. So for academic search premiere, you might want to hit PDF full text. Again, that's like this full text uh, 
section here, which is that the only articles that are going to show up are going to be articles that you can immediately access. Again, I would remind you, if your search produces very few articles, you may have to go back and repeat the search by taking off the full text. But right now, we'll leave in the full text. And special limiters for psych info, um, I wouldn't put any down there. And special limiters for the health source nursing edition, again, you can put down PDF full text. And for the teacher reference center, PDF full text. Okay. Now you go back up to the top of the um, here, and now you have to d select keywords or things that you're going to search for topics. Now, supposing we're doing a paper on the effects of uh, sec uh, a sexual abuse or child, let's say child abuse, the effects of child abuse on boys. So you can put down child abuse. You can put down effects, and you can put down boys. Now notice you have a choice of and or 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 not. Uh, that I would just say to leave and and when you start your search these may produce articles. It may be that um, boys is a not a good word and you might want to go back and do the search with the use of the word males. Uh, you might want to go back and do the search with the, with the phrase child maltreatment instead of child abuse. If you're specifically interested in sexual abuse you would use that. You might want to change the word effect to consequences or um, uh, some other word that would be a synonym for effects. The use of different keywords may produce different articles, so it's very important to remember that, that if you put uh, keywords in and you get very few articles, you again might want to go back and change the keywords. And remember again that you might want to change to not full text. And I'll explain about that later, but the full text is the easiest because it's right there for you. You want to absolutely keep scholarly peer-reviewed journals. You don't want to be reading mass media for a uh, master's level research paper. Now, here's the other thing that I want to bring to your attention, where it says select a field. You can just leave it this way. Or you can say you want to see if this word is in the text, or it's the author's name, or it's in the title, and so forth. Again, I would leave just leave it blank there and just work with the keywords here. Okay, now, once we have the keywords and we've selected the databases and we've set full text and we've selected the time frame and we've set scholarly peer-reviewed journals, now we can hit the search button. Okay, 23 articles were produced with this search. And you notice each of them is either, it has either linked full text or PDF full text. So if you, let's say for this article, if you click on link full text, you have the entire article right there at your command to read, to print out, to save onto your hard drive, however you would like to use it. Okay? The same thing is true here. PDF full text, you just click on it and it'll bring up the full text of the article in the same kind of way. Okay. Now once we're back to this page, um, I want to point out that if the article, if you ended up taking out full text and you're finding articles that are not accessible this way, but it's listed, what you want to do is click on this and print out the entire reference and then I'm going to show you what you're going to do with it. But you essentially want to print out the entire reference for this article. Once you've printed out this uh, this reference, you can go back to the main library uh, web page and go back into articles and databases and go to the periodicals list. <coughs> The periodicals list will list all the uh, journals that the library has access to. So supposing the article that did not have a link to it was in child abuse and neglect. You can find, add if the library has child abuse and neglect by typing it into this periodicals list search. And here's the journal. 
and in, in fact from 1998 to the present the library has access to articles in that journal now notice that prior to 1998 um, it's in print if it's in print in the library the only way to access it is to go into the library and make a copy but journals that have uh, electronic access through, uh, through the library you can access by going into this link whatever the link is and there's the there is uh, the whole uh, journal and you can scroll down and find the volume number that you need let's say it's volume 21 and let's say it was issue number 9 and now here are all the articles for that volume and you find the article and you can get the PDF file if the library has electronic access. If the library only has it in print, you have to go into the library. Now, um, what if we are looking for a journal that the li I'll find another journal that I know the library doesn't have, Journal of Interpersonal Violence. So let's say when you search the library database you found an article that you wanted to read that was in the Journal of Interpersonal Violence and you're checking it out at, at Montclair State. and the, the library doesn't have it either in paper or in electronically. Then you can go back to the library homepage and go to services and you'll see there's a list of services and one of the services for students is uh, interlibrary loan requests. So you can go to the interlibrary loan request and again you can request a book but remember if you request a book then you have to come into the library to pick it up. But if you request an article you give the library your information you give them all the information about the article um, and that's why I suggested that you print out that whole citation from the database so you have it easily accessible. Uh, you give them all the information and when you give them your information you tell them to you give them your email address and you tell them to notify you by email and what they will do is they'll actually send you a PDF uh, version of the article by email and that's just like getting it directly from the database so this is a way of doing this research without leaving your computer at home. Okay. Now at this point I want to return to uh, the uh, services and just point out a few other services uh, that are um, actually I want to return to the library main page and point out the guides and resources. There are a number of things here that might be useful to you. There's a description of APA style, citation style for research papers, um, there's information on um, a guide for writing research papers, um, There's information about plagiarism, which might be very important to read. Um, so all of these are available, these, inform these guides are available through this section uh, on the main library page called Guides and Resources. Finally, I just want to bring your attention to one other uh, source of information in the articles and databases. I just showed you how to use EBSCO Academic Premier and those databases that are under it. But I wanted to point out to you that if you're looking for legal articles you really and legal material you have to use a different source. So here you would hit law and you'll see that there is there are several different law databases, legal databases and Westlaw is a commonly used one uh, if you have a pop-up blocker it will stop you and you have to give it special permission to continue. Okay, and notice that Westlaw has news and business on the first page and law on the second. You have to select that second page and then you get a search option just the way um, you had in uh, EBSCO Academic Premier. So you pick 
words, topics, what have you. The selection of the particular databases um, is a bit more complicated. You may look for journals and law reviews and then you might want a particular state or all states or cases. I would suggest if you're doing legal research that you speak to your professor about the best way to search these databases, uh, which databases to select if you have any confusion. But again, this will take you into articles and materials that related to legal issues.